Hello and welcome to CypherDog. Today I will be showing you how to send an encrypted email using the CypherDog app, also using the Google extension and Microsoft Edge extension. So let's go ahead and we'll start off in Google. So head to Gmail and click Compose. Now let's enter in the person that we would like to send an email to. So that's who we are sending an email to today. The subject, this is just a test, so let's pin that. This is a test. Now enter the message, so hello. Okay, so that's the message I would like to send. Now let's say we took a couple of options here. If you want to encrypt the whole message, what you would do is, is highlight all of the message, right click, head down to CypherDog email encryption, and as you can see here, two boxes, select encrypt message. So click that, and there you go. The whole message has now been encrypted. Now let's say you wanted to just encrypt a part of the message. Here we go. So let's say you just want to encrypt this bit here that says this is a test email. Head over to this part, just highlight that bit there right click, go back to CypherDog email encryption and, in, and click encrypt message. There you go. So this part is decrypted still, original message how you wanted it, and this part is all encrypted. So very simple to use the Chrome extension. For the Edge, it's exactly the same. So open up your Edge browser and now let's send a message. So do exactly the same. So let's enter in the receptacle. Enter in a subject and go ahead. So let's enter the message. And exactly the same thing applies as Google. So just highlight the message that you would like to send to encrypt, which you'll be sending. Right click, head down to CypherDog email encryption, and then select encrypt message. You may be prompted to enter in an email address here. So enter in the email address who you're sending the actual email to, here we go, and click done. There you go, the message has now been encrypted. And the same, exactly the same applies. You can do that in many different ways if you just want to, you know, do it again, just a single part of the email, just highlight the part that you would like to encrypt, enter in the email address, and there we go. That part is left unencrypted, decrypted, and this part is encrypted. So that's how you use Microsoft Edge extension and Google Chrome extension. Now let's say you manually want to encrypt an email or any message that you would like to send. So what you do is, let's head to the desktop here. See the app in the bottom right hand corner? Click on this, right click, head over to encrypt and select text. You'll see here something that's been brought up. This is called a magic window. Now with this magic window, what you can do is you can manually encrypt any message that you would like to send. So first of all, you will be prompted to enter in the email address that you would like to send the message to. <clears throat> let's just go ahead and do that. So there we go. That's the person I'm sending it to. Now let's just go ahead and say, uh, you know, I want to say, hello, how are you? This is a test email or a test message. Once you've done that, just simply click encrypt. And as you can see in the bottom right hand side, the encrypted text was copied to the clipboard. So now this has been copied and ready to be pasted. So you can go ahead, head back into your email and simply paste. Right click and click paste. And that's the encrypted message that we've just used from the magic window. Now you can send this, you can use this method many ways. Let's say you want to send it by WhatsApp or any other messaging service that you would like to choose. Again, just head to your magic window manually enter any message that you would like you know anything that you would like to send and just simply click encrypt and it will automatically copy it to your clipboard and you can use this with many different ways you can be used with any type of messaging service that you would like to use and would like to send an encrypted message from so thank you for watching this video and i look forward to seeing you for the next one